Yo, what's up everybody? This is Jun Jun. Welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. So in the last episode, if you watched, hopefully you did, if you didn't, go watch it. If you didn't watch what we did in the last episode, I just went over the rules for the randomizer, the Nuzlocke, etc, etc, etc. I showed you my choices for starters. And I said, what I was going to do, instead of picking myself, I was going to have people pick for me. Went to InsaneDifficulty.com, had them help me out. Went to Facebook, asked my friends, had them all help me, and... I knew going into that what was going to happen, I knew what to expect, and I was right. So my choices were Dunsparce, Magneton, and Dodrio. I knew what would happen. <laughs> Unanimous decision! I had one person who said, who mentioned one of the other ones, and not really though. Unanimous decision. <sighs> we got Dunsparce. So. We're starting with Dunsparce, so that's, uh, that's gonna be fun. And, yeah. You, you, you just wait. You guys laugh now. You just wait. He's gonna take me to the championship. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get the distance together. Me and Dunsparce. We're gonna become the champions. Conquer all the gems. Conquer the, the Elite Four. We're gonna, be we're gonna become champions together. It's gonna happen. Me and Dunsparce. You just wait. It's gonna happen. So, um... For a name, I wanted to name it something like Insane Difficulty since a lot of those guys there helped me pick. They helped me pick. Oops. Throughout. Oh, whatever. When I say help me pick, I mean gave me <laughs> the most difficult choice they could have. So we're gonna name him ins uh, it's gonna be Insane Diff. In our hearts, though, he's Insane Difficulty. The Dunsparce. So me and Insane Difficulty are together. It's gonna happen. You guys just wait. Call me if anything comes up. So this game's off to a great start. We got a Dunsparce, got old men giving ten year olds their phone numbers. No big deal. It's a Pokemon, it's all normal. If the Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. I'm sure I will. Because I have Dunsparce. I'm sure I'll be there healing plenty early on. And this guy I think gives me a potion. Yes. I was hoping to be Pokeball. So um what I'm gonna do is So I looked up information on all three of the Pokemon, Dunsparce, Magneton, and Dodrio. I know Dunsparce has Rage, and I think nothing else decent for a while. Magneton, I think, is gonna have Sonic Boom. Which, if I if my rival has Magneton and he has Sonic Boom, I'm pretty much done for. There's pretty much nothing I can do. Unless I level him up so high to the point I can't catch Pokemon. So, I think what I'm, how I'm gonna do this... Is that th it's probably what's gonna happen. I think how I'm gonna do this is... I'm not gonna start the Nuzlocke rules until I get my Pokeballs. So that includes both capture, capturing and the death. I'm not gonna have any of that count until I get Pokeballs. Once I get Pokeballs, it's game on. It, it's all official from there. So pretty much until then, all we're doing is maybe training our Dunsparce a little bit. Um, we're gonna see what's on the routes so we know what to expect when we come back to capture Pokemon. And then probably next episode, we'll start the actual, no, Bulbasaur. I would love to catch a Bulbasaur. I would love a Venusaur. That would be awesome. So remember, this does not count. This is not my first Pokemon of the area. This is, is not that rule right now. Until you get Pokeballs, that does not count. So, when I come back with Pokeballs, God, I would love to run into a Bulbasaur. That would be phenomenal. So imagine having a Venusaur throughout this, this game. So we know we at least have a Bulbasaur here. That's not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. I don't know what else we have. So I don't know how many are in this route. I don't know if it's just like two or three or or what. But we're going to get our item first. Also, I want to point this out now while we're still early in the game. I'll point this out first. Items are random as well. So that Ice Berry wouldn't have been there in the normal game. It would have been something else. But items are random on the ground. So anyway, what I was going to say is um, I saw I had a bit of an issue with lag on the last one. Um... I think it's just because my computer is not that great, it's not that new or anything. If the lag gets too bad, I'll see if there's something I can do about it. As of right now, it doesn't look like it's doing too bad, so I might just go with it. If it lags, I'll just slow down, let it catch up, and if it gets too bad, I'll see if there's something I can do about it. I apologize if it gets laggy. So I'm going to have a spinner rack. Which I think spinner rack's on the route anyway in a normal game, if I'm not mistaken. But we don't want spinner rack. I mean, if that's the first one to run into, whatever, I'll catch it. 
It's not what I want, though. <sighs> By any means. I want that Bulbasaur, that's what I want. No, I'm poisoned. That's a great start. So... Uh, I should be close to Cherry Grove at this point. To the point where I can probably make it without having to waste an item. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get to the Pokemon Center before I have to waste an item. And don't forget, even if he dies from poison, we're not counting the rules quite yet. I know I probably should, but I feel like I'm not going to get past that rival battle if I start the rules. And I don't want this game to end on ep the, this Let's Play to end on Episode 2. So, I'm going to do what I have to do. I think she just talks about the ledges. I don't think she matters. So we're going to hit our first city here. This is Cherry Grove City. We're going to talk to this old guy. And um, just like the other old guy gave us our phone number, he's going to give us a tour of the city, including his house. He's had to show us his house at the end, too. <whistles> so this guy. I guess I can get my old guy voice from, can I? If you like, I can teach you a few things. He's going to teach us a few things. This game is creepy. This is the world of Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. Old men give you their phone numbers, give you a tour, and take you to their house, and teach you a few things. That's Pokemon. This is a Pokemon mod. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. So yeah, now he's gonna talk to us about his balls. Sir, I don't want to see your balls. I just want to catch Pokemon and get my town map. Because that's why I'm doing it. He gives you the town map. So, interesting story about this water. I did um, my very first randomizer I ever did. It was for fun a couple months ago. I did a silver one. And I didn't turn legendaries off and I fished up a Raikou. I obviously did not catch it. So, um, like I said, that's fair game. Once I get the rod, I can still catch Pokemon there. It's not just the routes, it's every new area. It's every new city, every area inside of a city. I think Sprout Tower was, was the example I gave in the last episode. That's all a new area. That's all fair game for capture. So once I get the rod, I can come back there and catch something. Um, I don't think anyone else in this city really says anything of interest. And if I can, I'm going to avoid talking and just pretty much talk to the people that I know are going to give me things. Because I want to try to get through the game quicker. And that, that will, of course, help. Because it's a pretty long game. I think the Gen 2 games are pretty much the longest ones. Because you go through two regions. You go through Johto. And once you beat Johto, you go to Kanto. So they're pretty long. Um, we want to make sure we stock up on some stuff, so, because this isn't a, a Nuzlocke, because you don't want to die, we're going to make sure we get some potions and antidotes and paralyzed heals and everything, I want two of those. So I want to make sure I'm stocked up on medicine early, because I'm definitely going to want them. Definitely going to want them, because we cannot afford to lose anything. Um, later on, whenever the actual Nuzlocke rules officially kick in, I'm probably going to care more and buy more medicine than what I got, because I didn't get too much yet. But eventually we're going to have to be stocked up on potions. So here's our berry. So the trees, I don't think are random. So they're just going to give the same thing they would have given normally. He's going to give me a berry, so I'll talk to him. And do I want to save my berries for later? Because I know, I know there's a spot where you can use your berries for something else later, but I'm thinking I'm better off just using them for healing. So I'll probably just stick with that. And let's see what we got in this route. So once again, does not count yet. We're just training. So we got an Ekans. So not that interesting. Once again, if it's what I run into, it's what I'll catch. Hopefully there's something better I can get. I just want the ball sore on the first route. Oh. That was awesome. I want that ball sore. It was meant to be. How great would a ball sore be? I don't th Rap does not prevent you from attacking in second gen, I believe. I think that's just first. So I think I can still attack him. So... Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're good. So I know Rap in first gen, I think, prevents you from attacking. Not in second gen. So here's an item. This should be random as well. So we'll be gonna get... Leftovers! That is awesome. That's about the coolest thing I could have asked for right there. The leftovers. And being a somewhat competitive battler, I love leftovers. 
They're fantastic. And that is definitely one of the coolest things I could have got this early in the game. Because now, don't care about the berry. Insane difficulties taking the leftovers. Because it's, it's like having an unlimited berry almost. That's awesome. I'm so happy I randomized the items. So happy I randomized the items. Because I wouldn't have gotten the leftovers otherwise. That was a great pickup. I'm excited about that. And we got a Fero, so that's better than the Ekans, and he would be a flyer, which would be good. While we're on the topic of flying in HMs, um, it's unlikely, I'm sure, but if we get to a point where I need to use an HM to advance, and I have, somehow don't have a single person in my team or my box that can use the HM, I'm gonna catch an HM slave, because I'm not gonna end the let's play, I'm not going to end the challenge just because I don't have someone who can use the HM. So if if I need to, I'm going to use an HM sleeve, but I don't think that will happen. We'll see though, we'll see what happens. I think I should be okay. This Pharaoh should give me a decent bit of experience. So I do want to level up at least a little bit. I don't level up too much because I don't want insane difficulty to wreck every wild Pokemon I run into. And that took my attack up a good bit, so this will definitely take him out. Okay, so yeah, um, so we'll get level 6, there's level 6. And a good bit after too, so we want to level up a little bit, just so insane difficulty can be, you know, so you can hold up. We just don't want to level up too high, because I want to be able to catch wild Pokemon and not kill them. Here's a Sea King, which isn't, not horrible. The only thing I'm worried about with Sea King and Firo is if a Pokeball is good enough to catch them. So they might be Great Ball worthy. So I'd be afraid of wasting my Pokeballs on them. But... All I know, I'm, I'm at least hoping I run into the Bulbasaur in the first route. I think he should be catchable with a Pokeball. I don't know what a Bulbasaur's catch rate is because you usually don't have to catch them. But... I think that should be catchable with a Pokeball. Everything we've seen so far should be. And there's another level up. So good, getting good experience from these evolved Pokemon. So that's level 7. So that's not bad. And so here's Mr. Pokemon. Hello, hello. You must be John John. Professor Elm said you would visit. Is that Brit? Am I making him British? Is that what I just did? He's probably not even British. Is that, was that in a British accent? I don't know. So he gives me the mystery egg, so here's another fun part. The egg is also random. It's not just a Togepi. When I did my test run of this, my egg was a Charizard. Not a Charmander, a Charizard. There's my Flyer, there's my Cutter, and he's Fire-type, and he's Charizard, which is already so cool. If I could get another Charizard, that'd be fantastic. So you're Jun Jun. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So Oak already has a voice, so I mean, I don't have to make one up for him. I don't like his voice. I don't like, I don't, I'm not that good at voices, am I? I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. So, in Kanto, in the first generation, Professor Oak is, he's the genius. He's the scientist, he's the whatever, he's the, the everything. Now in Gen 2, he's a radio host. I mean, he's still a, like a scientist, he's still a smart guy and everything, but he's a radio show host now. He's hit. He's hit with these 10 year old kids going out on adventures on their own throughout the entire world with giant wild animals. God, Pokemon is so messed up. Okay, see you, Oak. It's Mr. Pokemon. Pokemon should have some rest. Thank you, Mr. Pokemon. My Dunsparce could use some rest. I appreciate that. Alright, so we're going back to the lab, but before there's a phone call. Yes, there's a phone call here. Hello, John John! It's a disaster! It's just terrible! It's just terrible! So if you guys have played this game, you know what's terrible. You know what he's talking about. If you haven't played this game, you're over a decade behind. Go freaking play it already. So that means we're gonna get back. We're gonna get a Poison Cure Berry here. We're gonna get back to Cherry Grove. Maybe try to level up like one more time. Get to level 8. I think level 8 sounds like a decent level right now and make Dunsparce at least relevant but not taking out every Pokemon in this path. So let's get to eight. So let's do that here. And once we get to eight, we'll go back, we'll heal the Pokemon Center, and then we'll have some stuff going down. It's gonna go down. I'm yelling Magmar. Magmar would be sweet. That'd be another one though, I don't know if, 
I don't know if a Pokeball could catch it, though. Just imagine getting Bulbasaur and Magmar early on. That would be pretty nice. It'd be pretty nice. I just don't know if that would happen. <laughs> I don't know if a Pokeball can handle a Magmar. Especially my, with my limited funds, I can only buy so many. So that would be iffy. Wait, when do I get the first Pokeballs? I don't remember if... I don't remember if the scientist in the lab gives you some... I don't remember if the Cherry Grove Pokemon Mart gets some after you go back to Mischievous. Here's a fun story. Um, The shiny that you get at the Lake of Rage, that's randomized as well, but it's also shiny. In my test run, I got a shiny Mischievous, which was pretty neat. It was like golden, it was awesome looking. It was like Dunsparce's color, pretty much. It was cool as hell looking. But um, anyway, I don't know if, I don't know when I get the first Pokeballs. I don't know if I have to go the whole way to the next town, or if I can get them at the Cherry Grove Mart after I go back to Elm, or if the scientist gives them. I'm gonna have to wait and see, because I can't remember now. I think this Fira will be enough to get me up to level 8. And this attack will be enough to take it out, because hit me three times, took my attack up three times. Four times. Five times, okay. So we're at like, what, quadruple damage now. <laughs> so Pharaoh's going down. And I think this will be enough experience to get me to level 8. Which means I can move on. No, it's not! I was wrong. I was so close. Okay, one more. One more and then we're... I'm not going to go too far so I can get out of the grass easy. One more, then we'll heal. We'll take care of business. Move on. So here's another Sea King. If I have time, I would like to catch, I would like to at least try to catch one Pokemon before I move on this episode. My episodes are going to be around half an hour or so each. Looking around 25 to 30 minutes based on where I'm at in the game. Based on if I find a good stopping point. So, we're about what, like 17, 18 minutes in right now or so, 16, something like that. So, ooh. I would like to be able to catch a Pokemon before this episode's over. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, if not, an episode on Tuesday. It's a couple days away. We'll see what happens. So we're up to level 8, so now I feel I feel good about being at 8. So back to Cherry Grove. So we're going to heal. We're going to take care of business. I, I will fast forward through the healing because it's you've all seen the healing. It's not important. Um... I know it doesn't matter, because it's a Nuzlocke, and the rules don't count now anyway, so let me feel better about it and save anyway, because I would normally save at this point, so I'm just going to do it. So here he is, with his long, flowing, beautiful red ginger hair. You got a Pokemon to lab. What a waste of wimp like you. Yeah, he's like Gary Oak, except he's worse, because Gary Oak could at least back it up. Gary, he was at least good. This guy's a douche, and he just sucks. So I th will he have Magneton? And if he does, is it Sonic Boom? Because if that's what happens, I'm not gonna... Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually win this battle. And that's one of the main reasons I wanted to say I'm holding off on the rules until I get Pokeballs, because I'm pretty sure there's basically nothing I can do to win this one, because he's Steel-type. I'm barely gonna scratch him. I'll use Sonic Boom, which is a guaranteed 20. It's a guaranteed 2-hitter. If I use a Potion between turns, I think the Rage stops building. So pretty much there's there's really nothing I can do. Unless he misses, which How many times can we really count him in a miss? So this won't be enough. If he misses here again, I mean that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, so there was there was really nothing I could do to win this one. And that's one of the reasons I said I'm not wasting my time doing the rolls yet. We're gonna hold off a bit. So his name, his name's question mark, question mark, question mark. It's a great name. So he thinks he's tough because he beat my Dunsparce with a Magneton. Whatever. So we're gonna try to take the quickest way back to the lab. Talk to Elm and can I, is it, can I skip the grass altogether? Yes. So we're gonna go talk to Elm, who we now at this point know had his Magneton stolen by a Ginger. 
And there's the Popo. What a narc. Let's get some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young man with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that. Did you happen to get his name? Oh, <laughs> did I? <laughs> oh, Clark. Love you, Clark. Sorry. <laughs> so Clark was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation, kid. He's a very happy police officer. He likes his job. So Elm, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was with the Pokeball? It's a big discovery. Take a step back. Back up. A Pokemon egg. Yes, it's an egg. And he is, I think for now he holds on to it. And then you get it later. And we're gonna hope for something good in there because that would be just fun. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. John John, the road to the championship would be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk. I always, always forget to talk to my mom before I leave. Never fails. I'm healed, right? But no, I never, I always forget. And she calls you later on and she's just so, she's not mad. She's just disappointed. <laughs> Does he give me Pokeballs? Please. Okay, so I can at least, I have time for at least, at least one attempt. At least one. Is it five? I'm assuming it's five. Be like ten or something. Okay, here's you five. Which is not that much. I will talk to my mother before I forget again. <laughs> She's in the kitchen, making me a sandwich. Where did you get it? So you're leaving on an adventure. I'll help too. So she's gonna save money, so that's what she does in Gen 2, she saves her money for you. Which, um, I mean it sounds like it sucks, because you only get some of your money whenever you win, but in reality, you get so much more money in this game, and you end up just being completely loaded later on. So, he's gonna try to teach me how to catch Pokemon, I don't care, I know how to catch Pokemon. You need to go away. Fine then. <laughs> Go, go away. You don't matter. Okay, so I know, like I said, I know it doesn't matter, but it just makes me feel better whenever I save. <sighs> okay, so now, as of this point, from right here on, the Nuzlocke rules are in effect. If my Pokemon dies, they die. They're gone. I only have one chance per area to catch, and they have to be nicknamed. Dupes Claws is in effect. Quick run down the rules. No legendaries. You got the point. So I'm hoping for a Bulbasaur. Please give me a Bulbasaur. Get Bulbasaur. Oh, it's a Skarmory. I mean, Skarmory's cool, but I don't know if a Pokeball can catch a Skarmory. I'll I'll see how low I can get his HP. If I can get his HP in the red. I'll try like two or three times. If I can't get it in the red, I'm just gonna say skip this, save the Pokeballs for a time I can actually use them more. I'll try again. Because a Skarmory is gonna be hard to catch with a Pokeball. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, so I can probably get one more Rage, probably without killing him unless it crits. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, I want to save the Pokeballs for something I can actually catch, because a Skarmory would be way too difficult to get. So the next route actually is going to be. I have. I have enough time for like one more, like one more attempt. So I can hit this route up north and at least take a look. So this is gonna be our last attempt at catching something for the game for this episode. And once again, we're gonna hope for something good. I hope for something good. I have no idea what's on this route. We haven't checked yet. I have no idea. We're just hoping. Something good. Something catchable. Something cool. Come on. Oh. Larvitar. That is awesome. If I can get him. Oh. I don't know Larvitar's catch rate. It is. It is a basic Pokemon. So his catch rate can't be that bad. But it also does evolve into a pseudo legendary. So I don't know. I think I can hit it one more time without killing it. 
I think. I hope. Please don't take it out. Please don't take it out. Oh, okay, that's that's good. We got him right about where we need him. I'm willing to throw all five Pokeballs at this. I want this Larvitar so bad. I want this Larvitar. Stay in there. Stay in there. Two, three. Oh, we got a Larvitar. Oh, that is one of the best first catches we could have gotten. Now we know we need to nickname him. So he's gonna evolve into a T-Tar. So he's, he's gonna be T-Rex. That's gonna be his name. No, not even just T-Rex, he's just gonna be Rex. Because that is a bad name. In both meanings of the word. So we got ourselves a female Larvitar. That is not a bad first catch at all. So I'm going to wrap that up here. I'm satisfied with this episode. I'm satisfied. I'm excited about Larvitar. So we're going to save it and wrap it up here. Next episode, we're going to catch a few more. Hopefully catch a few more. Get through the routes. Going to get to the next town. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Like this video. And tune in next Tuesday. That will be the next episode. Episode 3. We're going to continue on. Thank you for watching, guys. My name is Junjun. Good day.